Hi, I'm Joe Peck. And I'm Daniel Brooks. And today we're going to show you two pieces of software, PuTTY and WinSCP. Here's the PuTTY screen uh, where you enter the host name. Uh, I've already got everything pre-saved, so I don't have to type in it every time. Uh, so just enter in your cane log information, and it will bring up the command line. So if I just show, here's uh, all my folders and files from previous classes. Uh, we can navigate into the file folder I have set up for this class. Uh, currently there's nothing in it, but we can quickly add a file using uh, WinSCP. Alright, so as he said, the other file or software we're going to show you is WinSCP. You can just enter your hostname, login, password here, uh, and hit login. Uh, and then pretty quickly it'll connect up. And here's your screen. On the left side you have your local machine with the TechCom 487 folder, and on the right side is the Kane Linux, also navigated to the TechCom folder. Um, so as you can see they're empty right now, we're going to add a file. Um, this is just going to be done in the basic uh, WinSCP editor, but if you have another editor you prefer, you can import it and then all your files will open up in that. Um, so we're just going to type a simple message here, go blue. Uh, we'll save that. And then to transfer it, you just drag and drop. And it'll show up there. If you open it up, we got go blue. Um, and if we go back and look over on PuTTY, uh, look again, and it will now be there. So now we want to say edit it on the Linux side. Uh, we just open it up and we'll add the message hail to the victors. Uh, we'll save it again. Um, so this is just going to save it on the Linux side. Um, so if we go back and look over at our local side, we still just have the go blue. Uh, this is a really useful feature if you want to test your code out, you're working on some changes that you're not sure you want ultimately in your final design, um, but you want to try them out, make sure they work, um, and then once you're ready, once you're happy with them, you can go ahead and drag and drop back over. It'll ask you if you want to overwrite. You say yeah. And now if we look, we've got all our changes there. So as you can see, uh, these two pieces of software work well together, uh, allowing you to test and code on the Linux side before uh, bringing your changes back to your side. Uh, we have both, both of us have found this, found these pieces of software very helpful in previous uh, classes for programming projects. Uh, since you have to use the Linux environment to test and turn it in, uh, this has been very useful and much faster than other ways to connect to the Linux environment. So hopefully you found these pieces of software interesting as well, and we'll go try them out.